Hi, this is Body Jones and welcome to All Things Blogging. In the last couple of videos I covered some relatively advanced topics. Well, today's video is going to be more for the beginners. I'm going to walk you step by step through the process of setting up a free blog on WordPress.com. And more importantly, I'm going to explain why WordPress.com is the best free option if you're not ready to pay for a self-hosted blog now, but you think you might want to later on. I'm going to explain the kinds of problems that can happen if and when you decide to move to your own domain. And finally, I'll demonstrate how to set your free blog up in a way that will allow you to avoid these problems and transfer your traffic and all your links. I know this sounds like a lot to cover, but I promise it's really not that hard. But just to keep it organized, I'm going to split this tutorial up into two or three separate videos. Okay, let's get ready to start a free blog. Okay, so I get the question a lot about whether it's okay to start a blog on WordPress.com. And if you don't know the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, basically the difference is on WordPress.com it's free, but you start it on the WordPress.com domain. So that means your website address or domain would be something like mysite.wordpress.com, whereas on WordPress.org you get to buy your own domain name and buy your own hosting and all that. So basically the answer is yes, it's definitely okay to use wordpress.com, but you just want to make sure to do it the right way. And that means you want to do it in a way that if you ever do want to transfer to your own domain, that you'll be able to do that without any problems. So we'll go over that more later, but right now we're just going to go over how to set up a wordpress.com blog and it's actually really easy. All right, the first thing you want to do is just come to wordpress.com and just click the get started button. Once you do that, you'll choose the layout that you would like to use. I'm just going to choose this grid layout and after that you'll choose a theme that you want to use and this one looks pretty good. So, and this is where you will actually choose the domain name that you want. And remember, it's going to be myname.wordpress.com. So let's just go ahead and choose how to start a blog if we can. Okay, how to start a blog is not available. So let's just get how to start a blog 2017. Why not? Okay, so as you can see here, there are a few different plans you can get, but the free version, just choose that. You want to put in your email address and a password and create my account. So that's pretty much it. From here, pretty much the first thing you would want to do is just go into your settings and maybe just add a name for your site. Um, maybe just maybe just add a few uh, uh, update a few settings here so we'll just call it my new site uh, welcome something like that uh, your site address you can't really change um, the language the time zone all sorts of stuff like that I mean a lot of this is pretty basic stuff the one thing you might want to change again would probably be uh, the theme. So you can come here and I would definitely recommend that you uh, only look at the free themes. Um, I mean unless you want to buy a theme. But uh, since we're, we're making a free blog I, I would imagine you would want a free theme. So there's pretty nice ones like I said. So it's pretty easy to change your theme. You could just come in uh, this is the one we're using right now. You can choose another one. Um, this one looks kind of cool. Just click it and activate this design and that's it. We can visit the site, take a look at it. So that's kind of what it looks like right now. Let's go in and add a page. So you just click up here and find the pages link and click add. Now I believe there's already a contact page and an about page, so let's just make a new page and we'll just call it test page. 
and we'll just say now a couple things to note here is this is just a lot like word or any other word processor where you can kind of highlight things click the bold button there if I want to make this italicized I can do that um, if I wanted to say make a link somewhere Uh, I could just highlight the word that I want to be linked, and I'll use this little link icon. And that's that. So there's a link. Uh, if I want to add an image, I can come here and hit this little plus icon. And they actually have some free images in here to use. Or if you want to upload an image, you can do that too from your hard drive. We'll just add this. Uh, this picture of these lights that looks kind of cool and hit insert and there we go the picture is in there and when we're ready we could just publish okay so we've made a page let's go look at it there's our new test page very easy right okay so one thing to note here is that you could see there's a menu and our test page didn't get a link so let's, let's take a look at uh, one more setting. We'll go back to my site and let's look at this little menu uh, page or setup. And you can see here there are two menus right now, or no, it says there are three menus available. And the one that we want to use is the default menu. Um, that has the pages that we are adding. So it has the about page, the contact page, and the test page. And with this, you can add pretty much a link to whatever you want, including any page on the site. As you can see, pages are listed here. I could add a link to any post. I can even add a link to any external site if I want to. So let's add another link to Google. And let's say we want it to open in a new tab. There we go. We'll save it. And let's go look at the site again. And you can see now we've got about, we've got contact, we've got this new link to Google, and then we've also got our test page. So that's kind of how you do the menu uh, setup. So basically, <clears throat> just kind of be careful because every new page you add at this point, it will add a new link uh, up at the top here. So that could get out of control if you add too many pages. If you want to add a post, like a blog post, you just come here and do add blog post very easy and we'll just say new blog post hi guys and we can add a photo to that there we go it's just hanging out on my phone and let's publish it there we go we now have a blog post there it is This is your home page of your site. You can see that it's got the blog posts, and these were some test posts that were added that basically came with this. You probably want to delete those and update or edit the existing pages that were there or delete them if you don't want them. But that's pretty much it. Um, really easy to do. It's a really nice looking site. And like I said, in the next part of this video, which we'll, I will probably do tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to explain how to set this up in a way that's going to allow you to easily make a transition over to your own custom domain if you want to do that in the future. Make sure to check back for that one, and thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.